Hey guys, this is the High Tech Hobbyist. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a 3D parallax wallpaper from a single image for your smartphone. Now this project will take you about 15 minutes, maybe less depending on how long you spend in a photo editor. Um, now I will note this is mostly going to be for Android users. For the iPhone, I'm not sure if they have this app in the App Store, but they may have something like it. So it may be worth checking out. Uh, so first we're going to hop onto a photo editor. Uh, I do prefer Photoshop and I'll show you why here in just a second. All right, once you are in Photoshop or whatever photo editor you're going to use, uh, go ahead and input your photo. The best photo for something like this is going to be something where your object or person stands out. Um, especially if they're jumping in the air, uh, maybe not on the ground. It may look a little awkward if you get this 3D parallax effect and they aren't attached to the ground when you move your phone around. Um, so anyways, go ahead over here to the spot healing brush, right click and choose it if you don't see it right away. And then just go ahead and go over your object. Uh, you don't have to be perfect just do it so you get every single bit of it so like I was saying before you can use other photo editors such as GIMP, GIMP which is a very popular free one uh, now it's a lot more manual work and you'll see here in a second why this little spot healing brush is excellent for something like this oops I've missed up here Uh, so just go over the, some of the spots that you missed. Uh, you can see down here it's a little uneven, but it's not a big deal since our object um, or person is going to be right in front here, and you most likely won't notice it on your phone. Um, so once you have that, go ahead and drag your original image right back into it, and you'll see here it just adds the object back into it. Um, and you'll want to select the person um, with this tool, this quick selection tool I like to use, especially if your foreground stands out, the tool does a great job of it. Uh, so just go over. This one you have to be a little more careful. And I'm going to try to get it as best as I can. The hair I probably won't be able to do every single bit of it. I think I just about got it all. Uh, so another tip here is to go up here to refine edge and smooth that out. It'll make it look a little better once you have it in the app. And just a little bit of feather. Go ahead and OK. And we're just going to copy and paste it into a new layer. And you can see here we just have our person left um, so we're just going to export this and I like to go to save for web which really compresses the file uh, make sure you do have it set to a file that is transparent PNG is one of these files so you have a couple different options right here and make sure that transparency is checked uh, you can see here the file size is pretty big and our phone will not be able to handle something like that so I'm just going to go down here and change the size scale it down to 20 percent and look at how much it really reduced the size on that one I uh, should so go up here and save that and we're just going to call this our foreground and then get your background and do the same exact thing and again try to scale it down by the same amount it'll make it a lot easier when we pull it up in the app on our phone uh, so you can see it's taken a long time to load just because of how big it is right now we don't want that when we import it to our smartphone all right go ahead hit 20 on that one again uh, again, this is going to depend on how big your photo is originally. You may only have to do 75%, 50%, or even keep it the same, depending on that size right down there. You don't want it much bigger than this, so, or else the phone is going to lag a little bit. Uh, go ahead and save that. We'll call this one background. 
All right, so once you have your images saved, um, go ahead and get them over on your phone. What I usually do is I send them through my Gmail or whatever email account uh, just to myself and I open up on my phone to download it. Uh, we're going to go over to the phone right now and pull up the application. I'll show you how to do that. So go ahead and pull up the Play Store on your phone and type in 3D Wallpaper Parallax. It should be the free version and the first one that pops up here. I will include a link in the description to make it a little easier for you to find. Um, so open that up. You can see a couple example backgrounds here and you can just see what the final result may look like for you. But for now, just go to the bottom right, hit that plus sign and it will bring up this little gallery. Uh, but you're going to want to choose from gallery at the bottom right to get your own. Go to where you stored your background, select that. And then once you have that brought up, we're going to add the other layer, the foreground, up to the top right. Hit add layer, choose from gallery, select that foreground. And then we're just going to resize the background along with the foreground here in a second. Um, just so it fits a little better. It can't be too small if it's within those dotted lines. You will get black spots on your phone. Uh, but this is hopefully about the right size. Go ahead and hit preview and see how that looks. So that looks pretty good. You can mess around with it a little more. Get it perfect. Um, the nice thing about this app, as you will see here in a second, you can select foregrounds that they already have for you and you can do um, a lot of cool different effects just looking through here let me try to select one as you can see plenty plenty of options so we'll just select this one right here and see how that looks yeah not too bad um, so again you can go through and kind of do your own thing or maybe even photoshop another layer that you bring in um, for this one maybe we'll do a beach ball um, or something similar to that. Alright guys, so that's going to be it for today. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. And as always, go ahead and visit thehightechhobbyist.com.